<laughs> Y'all know what the fuck going on. Y'all know we really run this shit. Wavy boy hey. productions. Yo. Yo. Scratch the pack out, throw it long like I'm calling the hell. Tassin' for peas in my trail like I'm off the sound. We put the hundreds and fifties in a row, man. Can't get them all reimbursed then. I made a whole to the trap, I won't work again. Back in the trap, flip it, work again. Remember them days I was riding on the 10-speed night, boy, up in the big league. I ain't been a journey, but wait till you see the new VV. That ain't gonna want me on TV. Everybody understand that. Jalen Brooks, where you at? You gonna play this weekend? You just got cleared by the NCAA. <laughs> Another episode of the hot seat. Got a very special guest with us today. Right. I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself, bro. Jalen Brooks, uh, University of South Carolina commit. So, congrats on that big commitment too. Thank you. Thank big, big. What made you want to uh, pull the trigger on that so quick? Uh, just the need for a receiver over there, and just how much love they've been showing me over the past couple of weeks, and it just felt like a special place just being down there. For sure. So you think you're gonna jump right into it? You fit right in? Yes, sir. So coach is showing love and everything? Yeah, they want me to come in right away and compete for that uh starting position. So Okay, that's big. That's yeah. big for sure. Especially coming from D two. Absolutely. D two to SEC, that's a hell of a jump. Absolutely. How, how you feeling about that? I mean, I feel pretty I feel like uh, I'm I'm gonna fit in pretty good. I've been working out with a whole bunch of NFO guys and top tier uh DBs on the on the division one level and I've been competing really good against them, so I feel confident in myself. For sure, for sure. Uh, how many offers did you have coming out? That was your second one, right? You had Duke and... Uh, uh, no, nah, that was my fourth one. I had, uh, my first one was uh, North Carolina A&T, and then I had Campbell, and then Duke, and then uh, South Carolina, and then I had more uh, after that, but I just didn't post them. Yeah, so South Carolina came last, and you were just like... Well, nah, that was my third one. Duke came third. last, Duke came last, yeah. Okay, so they was on pretty, pretty early. Pretty yeah. Early. You coming from Wingate, I know you did numbers there. I saw your highlights. Yeah. You're going crazy. <laughs> so, so what uh, what you think you're gonna bring to the team uh, immediately? Because I saw on your film you kind of do it all. Yeah, and that's that's the one of the things that they love about me, just being so versatile, just being able to go from outside and in the slot, and just knowing the offense pretty well, mm -hmm. and just having good body control. And then I'm gonna bring a lot of speed to the table, and also being a deep threat. For sure. Yeah, you just catching catching a lot of deep balls. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> So you had, I think you said you had six touchdowns, yeah. 735 yards, 35 receptions. Yeah, something yeah. along those lines, yeah. Okay, this so year. hell of a year. Now you got a, what was it, first, first team? First team, first team all set, yep. So, and how was it playing on the team that was nationally ranked? Because I know y'all had a, had a good season last mm -hmm. year. Man, it was a blessing because, I mean, like, just coming out of Hickory Ridge, we wasn't, like, on no national thing, but, like, just being there, uh, it was just a blessing to be around so many playmakers and then people tend to sleep on division two but right. like Wingate University has a lot of people that can play at the next level it's just they might not have the same height or something like that a special future but uh uh it, it was pretty it was pretty good for sure what you got to say about the the doubters I saw some doubters in there <laughs> I was surprised. I was surprised it was only one of them. I mean, you know, like, that's all I seen. All I seen was one of them. And then, you know, a couple of people, like, underneath that. But, I mean, honestly, like, I was surprised, like, all the support that I had, especially coming from the SAC to the SEC. So, uh, I, was, I was grateful to have so many uh, supporters. But I love I love to prove people wrong. That's, that's what brought me here so far. For sure. So, so what would you say uh, – your mentality is coming into the game. You like more chill or focus or? Oh no, nah, I don't never chill. I ain't got no time for chilling. I ain't got no time for chilling. I always attack each and every day, uh, and just give it my all. Hey, you pay me, I'm a, I'm gonna give you what you pay for. No stuff. That's real. So who you bumping before games? Who you listening to? Oh, I gotta listen to my Meek Mill, my stand up, okay. my Meek Mill. Okay, stand up. That's yes, sir. What you know about got that? to. <laughs> Meek Mill, my sure. dog. Okay, you rock with Meek. Who you, who you got in your top five? My top five right now? Yeah, let me, let me hear it right now. All right, I'm going off of like hottest right now. Okay, so, okay. Polo G, I'm not going in order, but Polo G, Lil Baby, gotta put Young Boy out there, okay. Roddy Rich. 
I don't know who. Missing who one. Missing uh, one. I don't even know I'm who you, you think. I hope you say it. I hope, I hope you say it last. <laughs> and Young Thug. Um, right, I'll, I'll give you Thug. I'll give you Thug. I was thinking Gunna, but. Gunna? Uh, nah, not no top oh, five. What? Gunna. Yeah. Ooh. What you want to rock with the album? He, he, he top ten. He top ten. Nah, All right, now the deluxe, that two hundred for lunch. What? Oh, stupid. That whole, that yeah, no, go. yeah, it did go stupid. I mean, this year alone, yeah, Gunner would be in top five. But like, yeah. football if, players like the aggressive shit. Bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I like the yeah. <laughs> you know, <I'm> <laughs> Whatever Uber. term yo. Right. But nah, I do. I'm do mess with Gunner heavy. For sure. Oh yeah. So what? Uh, what happened with the the Tarleton State situation? All right. So. There? Uh, so you know, I transfer out Wingate, and then I go to Tarleton State University in Texas. Uh, everything was good. I, I earned my spot. I earned the being number one receiver. Mm. Like I had everything. I was on full ride. It's just like after this pandemic ha- had happened, and just being so far away from my family here in Charlotte, uh, my mom just felt like it was best for me to come back home. So like, if they needed me, I would be right here. Right. Was the uh, was the recruiting process like more difficult during the pandemic? Would you say? <sighs> Honestly, like, like it surprised me because all right, so leaving Wingate uh in January, well when I transferred in January, I had the looks, but people wasn't really looking at my film like that. So Tarleton was able to grab me, so then I went over there and then when I was leaving there, I had hit on my my uh wide receiver coach from Wingate right. and he's the coach at AT now. That's how I got hooked in. That's how I got plugged in with AT. Okay. That's how you got and then know. they offer yeah, and they offered me and then Campbell offered me. And then uh Coach Sidell, Jason uh which was my head coach at Hickory Ridge, he just kept on pushing me out to the big schools because he know I could play on that level. Right. And then so then that led to South Carolina, that led to Duke, that led to Florida State. That led to uh, in many other schools, but some schools just ain't have the space because it's already uh, damn near. I mean, it right. is August now, but yeah. And I was just lucky to have uh, South Carolina with spot with a spot open. Now that's big because I mean a lot of people don't know. Even though you went D two, you had I saw you had your first offer was ECU. Yeah. So you had a few D ones in there. Yeah. For sure. Who would you say that you're looking most forward to playing against? Oh man. I don't know. I don't know really. Like, I mean, LSU. I did like LSU, Florida, and uh, what's it called? Damn, hold on. And Mizzou. So, like, because they got one of like, some of the better DBs. Right. And then just going against my teammates as well because we got some good uh, DBs at my school as well. Sure. And it's just going to be able to prep me for the next level where I want to uh, – Continue my football career, so Most it's good. gonna yeah. Uh, have you talked to Rick? Oh, oh Big Rick. Oh, uh, I ain't talked to I ain't talked to Brian in a little minute. Uh, we just uh chatted a little bit, but uh, nah, I just talked to him for the first time in a while. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. Both of y'all being up yeah, there. Yeah, I know. Capco, yes, sir. So. <laughs> so three years down the line, how are you now? Oh, uh, I just turned twenty in just May. Twenty, so yeah. let's say you twenty three, three down, three years down the line. Where you see yourself? Uh, three years. So like, if I get this year of el- uh, eligibility, uh, so then I only have two years left. Mm-hmm. So then three years, I guess I feel like I have the talents, and I feel like my work ethic is there uh, for me to be uh, in the NFL. So that's that's where I see myself. But God, uh, God knows where I'm gonna be at. So, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, would you, uh, you got any other like hobbies or interests? If football didn't work out or something like that? Uh, biz. I mean, like I'm majoring in business management, okay. and then like, and I'm really good at like uh, marketing myself and like yeah. marketing things as well. Like, yeah, I saw and Instagram. Sure. Exactly. So, I, I mean, I just feel like that would be the the uh, field I would go into if anything, if football uh, fails. If you could say anything to South Carolina fans, what would you say? Uh, hey, look, you're getting a hard worker, uh, and I'm just ready to work, and let's get to it. For sure. Appreciate you coming out, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, no problem. You can drop your Instagram, Twitter, and everything. Uh, Instagram, 3KJ underscore uh, Twitter, I underscore stay underscore sore one. For sure. Yes, sir.